Alright, it's Henry again, and today I'm going to be doing part one of my review of the Master Grade Full Armor Unicorn Gundam Verka. And as you can see from the large stack of used runners here, this is going to be quite a lengthy review just because of the sheer volume of stuff we're going to have to cover. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this is what the kit is going to look like completely unpainted, so at this point all I've done is just snap it together and clean up the nub marks. I'm going to be getting white for the armor and the shields and propellant tanks, uh, clear green for the psycho frame, which actually looks pretty nice in my opinion. It's kind of a bluish green, which I like. And then all the weapons are going to be molded in gray and red. Now, as far as the stuff you get in the box, you are going to be getting quite a lot, obviously. You get a Master Grade Unicorn Gundam and all of his accessories. So, you get four little uh, stands for the propellant tanks or the base jaber. You can use them for either one. You get the Type 94 base jaber here and you'll be connecting these propellant tanks to it uh, to actually complete it. You get two large missile launchers that will go on the bazookas, two sets of missile launchers that will go on the legs, two more that will go on the bazookas, two grenade launchers that will go on the bazookas with extra ammo packs, the propellant tanks you already saw with their connector for the Mac pack. You get four clear pink beam saber blades, and four beam effect parts for the hyper beam javelin, uh, three shields, two hyper bazookas, six beam gatling guns, two hyper beam javelins, as you can see there, very long, two beam magnums. You get a actually two figures of uh, Benazir Lynx, one standing, the other is sitting in the cockpit. You get the opposable V fin. You get two different action base connectors. This is the normal one that fits uh, up under the crotch, and then this is the uh, alternative that they gave you for the full armor version. That'll fit up under the backpack. And then you get three small little connectors to uh, help the uh, beam gatling guns stay connected and attach the shields to them. And you are going to have a few leftover parts. Don't be alarmed. These are just normal. Uh, some of them are left over from the Verka version of the Unicorn Gundam. And some of them are left over from, like, the uh, Hyper Bazooka. They give you a different barrel to accommodate for those missile launchers, so you'll have those parts left over. And then you'll have some ammo packs for the Beam Magnum left over as well. Now for the decals on this kit, as you can see, we get quite a few. For the foil stickers, we get yellow for the V-fin, sticker for the eyes. And then we get two stickers for the head cameras, and two stickers for the uh, beam magnum, and two more for the hyper bazooka. Next up is the dry transfer decals. As you can see, they're mostly white. You've got a few gray and red ones here at the top. And then these will be plastered all over the kit, in addition to all of these clear stickers, which are mostly red. you got a few white and gray ones in there as well. So, it is going to take quite a while to do the decals on this kit. Now, before I start articulation, I do want to address the issue of which version of the Unicorn Gundam this is. I mistakenly said in the unboxing video that this is just the straight-up Verka. But, uh, what band idea is they kind of went half and half. They used the OVA parts for the legs. This piece of white armor right here, this white fin on the back, and the clear green piece up under there are from the OVA version, so we get the pretty much 90 degree bend out of the knees. Also, there's the uh, inner frame part up under here is exclusive to the full armor because, as you can see, there's no vent there. There's actually a hole. That's for the missile launchers that attach to the legs. But everything on the upper half of the body is Verka. You got this piece right here is the Verka version, not the OVA version. And, as you can see, the head lacks head Vulcans, meaning that this is the Verka version of Unicorn Gundam's head. Also, we do not get the uh, open, non-posable V-fin. We only get the posable version. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and do articulation. 
The head is on a ball joint and a hinge, ball joint at the base of the neck, hinge at the base of the head. So you're going to be able to go down and up, it's a little bit of side to side, 360 rotation, so pretty good articulation in the neck. The, uh, oops, backpack came off. The shoulders, you got a little bit of forward and back, that can go out that far, 360 obviously, 360 below the shoulder. The elbows are going to bend about that far, not a full 180, but over 90 degrees. You've got uh, kind of the newer style master grade hands. You've got a ball joint wrist and a hinge at the wrist, so it can go in and out, ball joint thumb. And then each of the fingers are on a separate ball joint with the last three fingers connected together, but you could certainly cut those apart if you wanted to. Now for the waist, you've got a peg joint for the waist, and it's going to go about that far. It's not going to rotate very much because of this thing, but you can kind of push it out of the way and he'll do a 360. And each of the skirt armors are on a ball joint, so they can go up and wiggle around pretty much anywhere you need them to go. The torso has some back and forth movement, but that's really only in destroy mode. I'll cover that in the transformation. The hips are on a uh, peg joint, so they can go all the way out like so, pretty much all the way forward, all the way back, and then 360 below the hip. The knees, again being the OVA version, you're going to get about a 90 degree bend. The ankles are, I can't even remember how many joints are in there, it's like, it's at least four joints, maybe even five. Yeah, it is five joints. So the ankles have got forward and down and side to side and they got some rotation. Some of the armor is going to prohibit the movement a little bit though. And then this little piece of ankle armor can move around and wiggle. And the feet have movement in them, but that's really more for the transformation again. I'll get into that when we do the transformation, which actually I think that does it for articulation. So we can go ahead and move on to transformation now. Alright, so I'm trying to pack as much into part one as I can so I can dedicate all of part two to the weapons and accessories. So let's start at the feet and work our way up. The feet are actually kind of a cool transformation to me. The ankle armor is going to go up and fit right there. And then you've got a little joint that moves out from the ankle and the foot moves down. These little parts right here are going to rotate downwards. This part's going to rotate up and the heel flips out like so and now you got the foot transformed. For the leg, you've got these two little gray latches. You'll pull those out, the ankle comes down, you'll expose some of the psycho frame, push those back in to lock it in place. For the knee armor, you'll pull that out and flip this up, and then this back of the leg uh, fin right here, you pull that back, and you see that little piece of green psycho frame popped up in the front. And then you'll rotate this around and it'll kind of, it's supposed to snap into place, but it doesn't snap into place very, very well. But as long as you don't mess with it, it should stay in place just fine. And then there's a little clear green fin right there you'll have to move out. Then on the thigh, you'll pull this piece of armor out, pull the leg down, and then put it back in place. For the hips, you're, let me remove the backpack. You're going to pull this piece out and then the hips will kind of widen out and then you'll push it back in to lock those in place. The skirt armor is pretty simple to transform. On the front skirt you just got this little panel that kind of slides out like so. Do that on both sides. The front crotch piece will come down and then this part flips up. Side skirts you just pull and they're transformed. And then the back skirts, just open this little hatch, reveal those thrusters and a little bit of psycho frame, and they're done. Although you'll find that you'll constantly be accidentally closing these, so you'll just have to keep opening them as long as you keep messing with the unicorn gun. For the torso, you've got a little latch right here that you'll open that up. There we go. And then pull the torso up a bit, and you'll reveal some psycho frame going along the middle. And then you'll close that latch to kind of lock it in place. Then you'll just grab onto the torso and pull like so. It'll separate out like that. You've got these little 
thingies on the shoulders that flip up and then the chest vents flip down. Let's see, move up, we'll do the arms, pull out the wrist like so, and then pull out this old beam saber holder like that. And then for the shoulders, pull up, and then this little thruster flips out like so. This little piece comes out, and there we go. Alright, to transform the head, I find it's easier just to take the whole head off the body. First, we're going to remove these panels on the side, and I've got the fixed posed V-fin in here, so we're just going to remove that. Then we'll open up the head, flip the uh, unicorn mode face inside, the destroy mode face will come forward, and then come down on top, like so. I'm going to take the posable V-fin, and we'll open that up and just put that in place right there and then these panels on the side we'll put back on but rotate them 180 degrees and there you go now you got the destroy mode head and we'll just pop that right back on the shoulders and last but not least the backpack we're going to take these beam sabers pull them out rotate and then flip them up just like so you've got a little hatch here that's going to open up and reveal a little connector and then on the sides you've got these two little thrusters that flip out and we'll just put that right back on the back and there you go now you've got the full armor unicorn in destroy mode well not really full armor at this point but you get my point uh, one thing, again, I forgot to go over is the cockpit hatch. It's right here. You just pull it out and up, and inside you can see a little Benager Lynx sitting inside the cockpit. And before we wrap up, here's a quick look at Unicorn Gundam's inner frame. So you can see it's got a full inner frame, and the psycho frame parts uh, integrated into it actually look quite nice. You can really see that nice bluish green color on here. I think the effect is really, really cool. So, that about does it for Unicorn Gundam's body and part one of this review. So make sure to come back for part two where we will go over all of the weapons and accessories. And that's probably going to take a while. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.